Hi, I'm Adrian with Brush and Trowel. We sell products for decorative finishes. Today we are going to focus on the Proceed line, which is manufactured by Golden. We are going to do the one color glaze, which is sort of the classic look of all decorative finishes. It's timeless and it is very easy to apply. As you can see in these pictures of the living room, there is a one color glaze that goes all over the walls and the ceilings. It just sort of makes kind of a monochromatic and a very soft finish on the walls. The first step in creating the one color glaze is tinting your pastel base if you're using a light color and the deep base if you're going to do a dark color to your desired finish that you want to start with to put your glaze on. We are going to do a neutral white so it's going to be a real simple glaze. The next thing we'll do is we'll take our glaze full body, which either comes in gallons or quarts, and we will mix it with, um, which my, one of my favorite colors to glaze with is the Van Dyke Brown um, Slow Dry. So we'll mix one cup of the Proceed with one teaspoon of the Slow Dry pigment. And then once we have that all mixed up, then we will use our cheesecloth and our Neon Leon to apply it. So we've already rolled on two coats of the base coat, and now we're just going to do the glaze on top of it. Um, one of the nice things about doing the glaze is you're just going to lightly fill up the Neon Leon. And the key is on your cheesecloth that you get it shaken out and that you kind of pull it up into a nice soft poof so that it's not hard or round so that you don't get the round shapes on it when you're glazing. One of the tricks in the glazing is to drag the glaze out and then push it from that sort of vein that you create so that you get the unevenness of the glaze, which gives it kind of the movement and modeling that's always so desired in it. So one of the other tips in a technique when you are one color glazing is to, after you put the glaze and you kind of pounce it up in there, is that you take your little chip brush and you run right along in your corners so that it blends out evenly and you don't have heavy puddles of glaze in your corners. That is a definite trait of an experienced glazer is that you can get your corners just as smooth looking as your wall finishes. So one of the other things when you are creating your space that you're glazing is to make sure that it is a very organic shape and that you take your cheesecloth and blend from your old or your new spot to the, to the older spots. And as you come up to the edge, you don't really pounce this because you're going to do it once you kind of bleed the two sections together or marry the two sections together. So again, when you're looking at this, then we're going to go diagonally along here. So we're kind of going backwards and this way and always creating very organic shapes so that if there is any webbing that occurs, it looks very natural. Now that we have finished the one color glaze, we have a beautiful finish that is a very classic one color glaze. It softens the walls and makes everything in the room look great. You can go online to brushandtrowel.com and order any of these products.